Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. So Rune recently reacted to our larger support zone, but also within that larger support zone, we had the micro support area between $7.63 and $8.27. So the price reacted perfectly there. And we are now um, trying to break out above the, out, well, out of the um, larger support zone, break to the upside and Let's talk about the short-term bullish and short-term bearish scenarios. In the short-term bearish count, this move up that we see right now is just a high B wave. It's just a high B wave or not even a high B wave. It would just be a normal B wave, which is unfolding, well, A down, yeah? And then A, B, C to the upside in wave B and then a C wave to the downside could still happen. Yeah, I wouldn't worry so much about the exact micro count because it will change. This is a structure that um, is very corrective here at the moment. And the move up looks clearly like a three wave move right now. So if we are, there are different patterns in different ways how this could unfold. But I can tell you that the $10.41 level that you see here on the chart, this is a key, let's say a key level where that B wave could get rejected. And why is that the case? So it would just mean that we drop back into the support zone probably, maybe together with Bitcoin, if Bitcoin's wave C plays out as well. Um, in this yellow count, I mean, it's it's like this, you know, um, A wave up, B wave down into support, and then this C wave rally to the upside. That's basically what Bitcoin is doing as well. And normally, I mean, when we calculate a target for a C wave, we typically focus on the 100% extension level first of wave A, of the wave A in the larger B wave. And that's $10.41. And that is a key level to watch. And we are not there yet. And also the C wave looks like a three wave move. So one, two, three, four, five. And I will change the wave degrees because it gets quite, quite small actually. So just want to show here the um, microstructures within that C wave. So we have a wave one to the upside, two to the downside, which bottomed here on Sunday the 24th, a third wave to the upside, probably topped here even, and then a wave four to the downside. And then the question is, was that too low for a wave four? So normally we don't want it to break below the golden ratio level and it did hold, okay? So $8.71 is the level that needs to hold to keep this micro structure alive. But I'm not sure how much value that support area has because even if it breaks, I mean, that would be a first indication, yeah, that circle wave C to the downside has started to unfold. But it's also possible that in some weird way, this B wave still extends, okay? Um, but for it, I, I, all I'm saying is, as long as we only have three waves up, I'm, I'm you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll count it as an ABC structure. But the white count is possible and especially as long as we're holding 871, but not even that, it should be. So the white count would be an A wave up, B wave down by the larger C wave. Whereas actually the way this is going now, yeah, looking at the entire structure, one, two, three, four, this now would look more like and that's the, let's say the bullish scenario, directly bullish scenario I have on the Bitcoin chart as well. And I will change the wave degree in a minute. It's just a different subdivision. And it, the question is just, is the wave five already unfolding or not? The count won't give us an answer. The count, it won't. Um, all we can do is to define the, because I know a lot of people ask me, oh, do you think it's a V wave or, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, we're not in a structure that would give us great probabilities, unfortunately, okay? because we're dealing with a fifth wave um, and it's moving in corrective patterns. So in the yellow count, this is an ABC and the B wave might form one more high. And it would make sense to focus on that because that's sort of Bitcoin's, let's say um, what, what Bitcoin is set to do as well. Mm -hmm. But Bitcoin could also decide the other way. So it's worth knowing the direct bullish potential, which would be so in this white scenario, we're dealing with um, a diagonal then. Okay, three waves up in wave one, three waves down wave two and i would have to say this could be an a wave then a b wave pullback and a c wave to the upside so you see it doesn't really give us that precision 
that a lot of people want to know about. Um, it, it just doesn't. Best is, best is to focus on support and resistance. That's all we can do. Buying. This, this, the structure here is very clear. Okay. And it gives you very, very, you know, if you think about it strategically, what does it tell you? It tells you it's quite likely that we dip back into the support area. Well, what does that mean? That means it might make sense to take some partial profits if you bought in one of our trending, uh, trade, trade, trend reversal areas. Okay. If the price rallies further, yeah, you don't maybe want to, you might not want to sell everything, but please be aware that this is the end of a five wave cycle. So we're very close to a top anyway. Um, so buying still in support could be reasonable, you know, given that the move up would still follow. And um, as it goes higher, it might make sense to take profits for anybody who bought in here. Okay, that that's I think strategically how this could be, how this should be approached. Um, not necessarily worrying so much which count is in control because it's unclear, but we have but the counts give us the clear parameters to watch. And at the moment, the white count suggests we're not even halfway there. So we should still see further upside. And even in the yellow count, even if we break back or drop back into support, it would be another potential entry opportunity. And then we should still have the entire distance, possibly into the $12 to $14 region. That's my update about Rune. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.